Abhishek. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing well. Great day to be in Aether. So, can you define Aether Battery Protect in 10 words? I'll do it in three. Peace of mind. That's the single single value proposition that we developed, uh, designed this entire product around. Uh, when, we, when we went out into the market and started asking our customers what they feel about the product, a lot of them were expressing concerns about this concept of this super expensive energy source suddenly being part of their scooter and a lot of anxiety around what happens if it fails, what happens if it stops performing, will I have to shell out a whole lot of money in case that happens. Warranties only in three years, but my scooter usage is still you know much longer than that. So that's what we intended to solve. That that nobody should have that anxiety, especially when getting a new scooter. And that was our that was our true north on why we want to do this. So that's it. So how does battery protect work? How is it different from the battery insurance that everyone else offers? That's a that's a great question. Um, to be honest, when we when we started thinking about this problem, we also thought that. We'll do whatever everybody else is doing um, and build something which is you know, five years, 60,000 kilometers, whichever is earlier, 100% coverage of all um, all battery failures, electronic failures, etc. But then the deeper we uh, dove with this problem statement with our customers, we realized this is not the only cause of, that's the only reason why people are anxious about their batteries. Again, the most important thing to realize, most important realization was that this is an energy source. A lot of consumers might not realize this right now, but performance of this energy source is as important as it being alive or dead, right? So just an electronic failure or like your battery dying because of electronic reasons is not the only concern. What if it's only giving me 50% of the power that it used to? 50% of the range that it used to, right? Is that still usable? Is it okay to call it alive? Most of the other OEMs and the warranties say that that is what the definition of, since it's technically alive, it's not under warranty. But what we sought out to create was then something which is way beyond warranty and also covers a performance guarantee. So the battery protect now, besides the failure protection, also comes with the degradation protection, which means that even on the last date of the fifth year, your battery is at a minimum 70% health. Hopefully it's more for most of the people. But we, we stand behind that statement because we are confident of the engineering we put behind it. It's not going to go below that for sure. So complete peace of mind. What do you expect to happen first, five years or 60,000 kilometers? Right, so we're not a big fan of limits and we weren't very happy that we were we had put this 60,000 kilometer limit on the plan. But if we don't have this limit, then the semi-commercial uses sort of make it make the plan more expensive for everybody. So our data tells us that more than 90% of the customers are actually going to be below this limit. So hopefully nothing to worry about. So for 90% of the customers, we hope that five years is good enough and that 60,000 kilometer time never comes. So what if some country invades some other country and okay. raw material prices go up? Will my battery still be replaced or will I have to pay extra? Um, quite a scary scenario, but <laughs> but yes, it has been a, it has been a rough, uh, rough few, rough couple of years for supply chain prices and, and uh, sell prices have fluctuated. But uh, we have ensured that we don't pass any of that, um, any of that flux or any of that anxiety over to our customers. We, have, we don't have any upper limits on our, on our battery protect plan. So uh, any event happens, your battery is being replaced free of cost, no questions asked. Battery could, be expense, could become more expensive, we'll still replace it free of cost. Thank you for that. What if my battery is stolen by my neighbour? You know, I live next to a really shady guy, I don't trust him at all. So what will happen then? Firstly, you need to move houses. Uh, secondly, the battery is very well integrated into the uh, body of the scooter, so you can't take it off easily. Uh, more, but most, most importantly, theft is typically covered by insurance, not a warranty. So I would strongly recommend all of the scooter owners to be insured. Again, this is a very expensive component, and um, in case either because of an accident or because of a theft, you should not have to pay out of pocket. So please always buy insurance and we are also working on an insurance product coming soon. Amazing. Okay, so now what if a huge electromagnetic wave pulses through my parking garage and affects the battery somehow? What then? Is this, this is a ridiculous scenario, but what do you think can happen? You're watching the matrix again and again, aren't you? This is definitely coming out of that. Uh, no, I, I, don't have, I don't have an answer to this. 
I think if an electromagnetic wave hits you and you, do you really care about your battery? I think there are other things to care about up at that point. Point noted. Um, what if I decide to buy another Aether second hand? Will the warranty pass on as well? Uh, yes, the battery protect plan, not warranty, more than warranty. The battery protect is attached to the scooter, not to the person. So it passes along when the scooter is resold. Same thing happens if I sell my scooter, right? Just asking, not that I intend to sell or anything. Do you want to sell your scooter? Um, I'm not talking no. to you anymore. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Abhishek.